The Emerald Isle Sea Turtle Patrol is urging people this season to be cautious about where they go and what they bring to the beach. The group's mission is to protect sea turtles and give them a safe place to nest. COVID-19 is keeping many locals from going too far from home. That's making the beach even more crowded than usual. This creates safety hazards for sea turtles as they come onto the beach to lay their eggs. Dale Baker, program director of Emerald Isle Sea Turtle Patrol, wants to warn people against creating deadly traps for turtles, including holes, flags, beach tents, and now, most importantly, dune barriers. This may not look too impeding to a human, but imagine yourself as a 350 pound sea turtle who can only go one way. They see better in the ocean than on land. They can get up here and get trapped and confused and even die of the heat before we get to them. Nesting season begins May 1st and goes through the end of August, but the month of July is the prime time for nesting. Emerald Isle is noted as a sea turtle sanctuary which kind of gives us an extra responsibility of taking care of sea turtles and spreading awareness how you can help them. As an organization, we have made signs this year to put out all the do's and don'ts, or mostly the don'ts. No lights, no digging holes. If you do, just fill them in, pick up your trash. Emerald Isle Dunes took a big hit during Hurricane Florence. Crews are now in the process of rebuilding the dunes, but some of that equipment being used for this work is harmful not only to turtles, but to the ocean. Our beach took a pretty big hit after Hurricane Florence, and we had a renourishment program this year, and we had our um, sea dunes were all replanted, um, which is great. And some of the residents have decided to help mark off the grass area to keep people out, which is a great idea. Um, but there are things down here that are dangerous to the, the ocean and sea turtles. Loud noises and bright lights can scare turtles away from the beach. If you do see one come up out of the water, please stay way back. Call our number 252-646-8292 or you can call the Emerald Isle Police and they'll let us know and we'll come right out and take care of them. Baker says last year had the second highest number of sea turtle nests, 43. This year they already have 10 nests along Emerald Isle. She says it's an amazing start to the season. For more information on nesting areas and the process of sea turtle nesting, you can head over to the Emerald Isle Sea Turtle Patrol's website listed below. In Emerald Isle, I'm Emily Severidge, 9 on your side.